What's going on y'all? Welcome back to Harry the Horse Barbecue and today we are making some Goldie's Barbecue style beef ribs. That's right, these beef ribs are gonna be crazy and I've never tried this method for beef ribs, so let's get it. Harry the Horse Barbecue. Now we're all familiar with Goldie's Barbecue and how they're wrapping their briskets which is a phenomenal method that I've tried out. If you haven't checked out that video, go and check it out. The crew down at Goldie's will smoke their briskets unwrapped until they're basically barky, the fat is rendered, and the internal temp is around 195 to 200. They will wrap that brisket in aluminum foil with a scoop of tallow, somewhere around a cup if you've seen Johnny White's newest YouTube videos on his Jerby Barbecue channel. He's got a variety of different beef rib cooks, and he's putting public information about his restaurant out there for everyone to see, so a stand-up guy. If you've seen A Day in the Life of a Barbecue Pitmaster by Alvin Zhu, that video highlights from top to bottom what Goldie's Barbecue does in an entire week. There is a clip in that video that I will try to feature here where Pitmaster Chuck is wrapping up beef ribs that are finished cooking and wraps them nearly identically to the way they do briskets. Chuck will have the beef ribs upside down, put a scoop of tallow, and then begin to wrap them in foil. It sounds like a pretty good method to finish off beef ribs, and we know it works for brisket. So let's test out that method today and see what these Goldie's beef ribs are all about. In order to test out this Goldie's beef rib method, we gotta go shopping for some beef ribs. These look like some pretty good beef ribs. I got these beef dino ribs from Porter Road and these beef ribs are looking like they just came off a of brontosaurus, so I am ready to cook these up. Now when picking out your beef ribs, you gotta go the three bone dinos. These give you that quintessential Texas barbecue beef rib that you're looking for. You can get these from a variety of places, but these in particular are dry aged, which is just gonna add a little more flavor. Goldie's Barbecue does not use dry aged beef. I'm pretty sure they're using Creekstone choice grade beef ribs. Let's get these dinos out of the pack. The plastic diaper. Now one thing I love about beef ribs is that there's very minimal trimming to do. This patch of meat right here is a no-go for beef ribs. It is a layer of meat that lies on top of the actual beef rib that you want. It's a lot leaner and you want to remove it. And then we're going to round off the corners and take down some of the fat. Once you find that seam, it's immediately going to want to pull up just like that and then you can just follow that seam all the way down. It makes a pretty nice pit snack. And there it is. We'll season that up and throw that on the pit too. I'm essentially trimming these beef ribs till there's about a quarter inch of fat on the top, just like a brisket. Because if you leave too much of this fat on, it can get a little overwhelming. I like it. It's looking good. We have to go with the Goldie's Barbecue number one in Texas brisket rub. We're gonna go a little different in our binder today. Worcester Shire. Wash your sister sauce. Let's go down. Give her a turnaround. All right. This is different for me. This feels and smells weird. These beef ribs are looking and smelling great. Ooh. These beef ribs are all seasoned up with that beautiful Goldie's brisket rub and they're ready for the cooker. So let's go fire up the cooker. Yeah. Fogo's going right in. Oh yeah. Now 
nice. All right, y'all, it is a beautiful morning for a beef rib cook, and I'm super stoked about these Goldie's beef ribs. Cooker is rocking at about 225, and I've got the damper wide open just to kind of build up some temps. As soon as I get those beef ribs on, I'm gonna put that damper about a third of the way closed and let them rock out at about 250 degrees. But in order to do all that, we need to go grab those beef ribs. Let's go get them. Some Goldie style beef ribs. Lane, Jalen, Johnny, I gotta come down to Goldie's. I need to check out how you guys actually do this. Let's get them on the cooker. Up and under, okay. Oof, that is smoke a hot diggity dog. Smoke in my eyes. I got a water pan in the cooker. I've got a blocking log near the exchange, as usual. I'm gonna close down this damper just a wee bit. We're closing down the damper so we can build some nice smoky flavor at about 250 degrees to start. And one of my favorite things about beef ribs is how easy of a cook it is. Not much to do other than maintain a fire. But let's close it down. Boom. Shaka -laka, uh, uh. And just so you all know, I'm gonna be chipping these beef fat trimmings onto the fire throughout the cook until I've exhausted them all. Don't waste them. This is a great use for a little bit of scraps. Just kidding, just kidding. Gonna be a long one. Let's go watch some fires and enjoy the beautiful day. Those birds are chirping. Yeah. All right, y'all, seven and a half hours in on these beef ribs, and we've been pretty much steadily holding between 250 and 275. I'm starting to ramp up some temps because we're getting near the point where I just wanna finish off that bark and then get these to about a 195 to 200 internal temp. Let's take a look at these Goldie's beef ribs. Up and under. Ooh, man. The look of beef ribs never gets old. Nice and barky all the way around. Oh, that fat render. Let's take a closer look and give them a spritz down. And as y'all can see, these are looking so good. Look at that little bit of fat we left on the top is starting to render. We're getting even pullback from both sides, it looks like, so I'm not gonna move these. Let's see where these beef ribs are rocking. Ooh, give me 180, nice. Right about 180, and they're feeling pretty tender. We're gonna let them rock. Just gonna spritz it down real quick. Apple cider vinegar and water. I don't wanna let any more heat out, so I'm gonna close this down. We'll bring it back for the wrap. Nine and a half hours into this beef rib cook, and I'm telling you that these beef ribs could not look any better. Let's see where they're temping. 199, 203. So it is time to give these the Goldie's Method wrap. Our Goldie's ribs, put the ribs meat side down. Couple scoops of tallow, Wagyu beef tallow, and we wrap them up and rest them. Now I'm gonna let these rest at room temperature until they're reaching internal about 150. I cannot wait. Nighty night ribbies. These beef ribs have rested for about an hour and a half. Let's unveil them and slice on in. Oh man. Oh yeah. And you cannot forget the goods. Let's slice on in. Take a looky-loo at that beef rib. O M G Z. that looks good. That's looking good. Oh, right off the bone. Oh, okay, yep. Nothing to sneeze at. Wow, these Porter Road beef ribs looking phenomenal. Is that, is that even fair? Oh, it is perfectly tender, juicy, 
salty. That Goldie's brisket rub, it's got this savory, salty, umami kick that makes you want to go back for more and more and more. That rub and these beef ribs are not horsing around. I mean, just take a looky-loo. Mmm. This Goldie's barbecue beef rib is so good. I just can't stop. You don't even need teeth for this. Man, just when you thought beef ribs could not get any better. Mmm, that bottom is where all the crispy edges are. Mmm. That Goldie's rub is a dub. Dripping with fat, it's a wrap, 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 wrap. I'm digging in, it's a win. It's juicy and it's tender, this is a rib you gon' remember. Oh yeah. Mm. Unreal. Does it get any better than that? Barbecue surely does not. Thank you guys for tuning in to Harry the Horse Barbecue. I really appreciate you checking out this video. Now I can't confirm 100% that Goldie's does this because Johnny White has not come out publicly to talk about this method. However, I think it's pretty certain that they've at least done this in the restaurant. You've gotta give the Goldie's wrap method a try on beef ribs. It just takes them to the next level. They're still crispy from all of that smoke. Then it gets a little softened up and super fatty from that beef tallow rest. This method created some of the best beef ribs I've ever had without a doubt. Make sure you subscribe to the channel below. I know you want to do it, so just hit that subscribe button below. You know we got a crispy bark on the outside of these Goldie's barbecue beef ribs, so leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below if you've ever tried this method on beef ribs, and if you've been to Goldie's. And with all that being said, there's only one more thing, y'all. This one is going straight to the horse's mouth. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. <clears throat> okay.